At last, the promise has been made. You may have guessed it from the title, but Final Fantasy VII is the long-awaited remake of Final Fantasy VII. It is a complete, from-the-ground-up overhaul of the original game. Simply put, Final Fantasy VII is one of the most important RPGs in the history of all gaming. This remake was something that fans were clamoring for for a really, really long time, and when it was finally announced at E3 2015, people lost their minds. I was there at the press conference. It was so loud in the room that it hurt. So it's safe to say that the gaming community at large is really excited for this game. You take into account how long it's been since the original Final Fantasy VII was released, you've got a whole generation of gamers that may have never experienced it or haven't gone back to the PlayStation 1 version, which is admittedly a little clunky by today's standards. So for Square to go back and devote this much amount of time and this many resources into creating something from the ground up, telling the same classic story but reimagining the battle system to be more like the Final Fantasy VII movies, Advent Children, things like that, uh, it could be a really spectacular game, and for RPG fans like myself, it's a great way to experience this game all over again, but in a whole new way. So we haven't seen Final Fantasy VII Remake in a long time. The last time we got any significant gameplay or any video from it at all was PSX 2015. So we're pushing on almost two years since we've gotten new footage of this game. Um, we get little things here and there, bits of news. Uh, earlier this year we saw a couple of screenshots, so we know that it's still in the works. And we did hear that Square has taken the game in-house for development, which means we could be looking at significant delays. I think E3 2017 would be a perfect place for Square to come out and release more information about Final Fantasy VII Remake. It's been so long since we've heard anything about it, I know that fans are really hungry to learn something more about the game or see new assets, see new footage, and maybe even get a release date for the first episode, seeing as how it's an episodic game now. That being said, back in January, game director Nomura did say that both this game and Kingdom Hearts 3 are still a ways off. Which leads me to believe that it's probably still really early in development and they're not really ready to show too much. So, if I was a betting man, I would say don't put your money on Final Fantasy VII Remake making a surprise appearance at E3 2017. I know, I was looking forward to it too. We're streaming live from E3 2017 starting Saturday, June 10th at 11 a.m. On IGN, Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, or wherever you're watching, make sure to subscribe for everything E3.